Welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. The show brings you the opener of a big four-game weekend set. The Atlanta Braves and the Milwaukee Brewers. Ladies and gentlemen, your first Milwaukee pitch coming your way next. Brewers. Two gone with runners at the corners. Next for Milwaukee, Sal Fraley. Good contact well, guy, good defender. Sal and the pitch. On the ground. Zips it across. And that is the third out of the inning. Brewers strand a couple. Scoreless after one. Stay Top of the Josh, second, and now Gerald Raymond. He is quite an athlete. I mean, you look around the other sports, the basketball, baseman. football, Gerald you feel like he could thrive in Raymond. one of those sports, too. <laughs> and a pitch. Nice Hard hit, hit, left field, base hit. Around first, heading for two. And one pitch into the nice inning, nice it's a leadoff double. I'll tack one more game onto his hitting streak, Boog. Every day, this guy just keeps making his record harder and harder to reach. I still can't believe what he's doing. Yeah, neither can I. It's like he's playing on beginner mode out there. Here's the center fielder, Michael Harris. And the pitch. Fouled off again, and it remains 3-2. and two. Raymond stands at second with no outs. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Well, they didn't give him anything to hit, and now with runners on first and second, they've set up a double play opportunity. So, not a terrible result. And next for Atlanta, Ralph Cortez. Next offering is down low. You know, Boog, if you're that base runner at second base, you want to be quiet out there. Not bouncing around, not distracting your teammate, the hitter. Make sure that he can clearly focus on that pitcher and that release point. The count two. That's hard hit in the line. And a base hit right there. They won't test it here. Base is loaded, no outs. Well, that was an important at bat in this game, so a great job there, Daddy, stepping up to the challenge. Nice line hitter. drive to the pole Keep side, met it out front, hey. but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. Now batting key, Brian Hayes. The 2-1. And that one fouled off. Hey, a strikeout, and you need a ball perhaps on the ground for a double play or get yourself a pop-up, something, but you've got to make some pitches. But if he can battle and get through this, he can earn some points. Hey, have a good rip up there, huh? Ball four. He's walked in a run. They'll expect a back and forth this entire game because of how good the offenses are. Base is empty one away. Now it's the power speed combo. Gerald Raymond. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. <laughs> and first offering is fouled off. All right, Chris, when you talk about great logos, the Milwaukee Brewers, the M and the B that form a glove, not everyone even realizes that it's an M and a B with that glove. They started using it in 1978 and have been using it a lot more recently. It's a great logo, Chris. Yeah, Boog. Two outs, runner at first. Gerald Raymond now at the plate. Singing, you can't ask for anything more. This guy checks all the boxes offensively. He is the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the afternoon, the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game. I tell you what, his teammates feed off of the leadership that he shows on and off the field. Up the middle. That's a hit. 
They stopped the lead runner at second. Now two on with two outs. Another multi-hit game for him. He's been really hot lately. Nice swing to drive that pitch up the middle. Could have easily been out in front on the off speed and pulled off of it, but he was looking to use the big part of the field, and he executed his plan perfectly. Digging in, Michael Harris. Next pitch is outside. First and second, two down. Hey, your pitch, your pitch. That one in for a strike, two and two. If he can get through this one, put up a zero, this will help in his outings to come. Hey, drive that pitch, huh? Here you go. Left-hand batter waits. Okay. Movement in Milwaukee's bullpen. Jose Barrios preparing to come on if needed. Stever getting cranked up as well. Hey, have a rip. Late to 10. Here you go. The 3 oh, 2 boy. is Fair off the outside way. edge, and that is ball four. Second walk of the game for him, and he's been really oh, patient at the play, a game plan Perfect. that he's sticking to. He's just not going outside of what he's looking for up there. Manager out of the dugout now, and it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. Javier Francisco gives way, and the line not closed on him yet as he's responsible for the Four runners pitches, on please. base. Back with now a new pitcher after this. Jose Barrios gets the call from the pen. Okay. It's his job to keep there his team in the game. Well, at this point of the ball game, we're talking about middle innings and a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. So two down. Now it's the second baseman, Ralph Cortez. And the righty deals. And a foul ball. Well, he's so good about trying to drive the ball to the opposite field gap in these situations. If he takes that approach, he could bust this game wide open. That one ripped. Base hit, one run is in. Another comes in to score. It's 5-1. Picks himself up a couple of ribbies. I could watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. And now, Austin Wells. Not the easiest thing when you're talking about a guy that's, you know, perhaps is going to be in the rotation or maybe a long relief guy to not start an inning, to come into an inning with pressure on it and, and try to get yourself comfortable. Puts it away for the out. Now batting the designated hitter, Lonnie White. Now at the plate, Gerald Raymond Let's for the fourth time back. tonight. Now batting. Well, in their win the last team. game, this guy came Gerald. up with two home runs, Raymond. obviously trying to keep the roll going here in this one. That's a base hit. They fired in quickly, so it's first and second with only one away. All over that one right there. Just an awesome swing of the bat, the quick hands, and just lost Michael. the baseball. 108 yeah. on the exit velocity. Man, that is coming off the bat pretty good. I know he's feeling good about it. So first and second with one man gone. And now the center fielder, Michael Harris. He's Aye. 0 for 1. Next offering is in for a strike. Hey, get a good one. Get a good piece on it, huh? Let's go. And that there one almost got him. Two on, one out. And a foul ball, he stays alive. The 2-2 two -two now. That one in the dirt and gets away. Calling for the intentional walk, and that loads up the bases. And the force play is now in order. Now back. Bases loaded back with one base. away. Ralph well, Cortez. Cortez. Next up for the Braves. Hey, see you here. 
Next offering is foul back. Here we go now. Come on now. Three balls, time. two strikes, the count. And a foul ball. Find a gap, kid. Find a gap. Up the middle. Base hit. One run is in. The throw in. And he's in there as they score a pair on the play. Hey, we tried that one. There you go. Well, he really had to battle for that one. Man, that was so fun to watch. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. Now in for the Braves, Gerald Raymond. Now batting, the third baseman, Gerald Raymond. Let her fly now. Fought off foul. Always tough to turn two on a speedster like this. It's even harder with him coming out of the left-handed batter's box. You really need something to hit hard on the ground that they can handle to turn two quickly. Kicks and fires. That one is absolutely oh, belted. God. God. A three-run rocket. Home run number 55 on the year. It's 10-1. Zingy, he's been red hot. Yeah, another big swing of the bat for him. Man, he is really seeing the ball well in this one. Took on the big part of the yard for that home run and just barely got it over the wall. I thought for a second he brought it back out there, too. He gave it a great effort, but, you know, those plays are so tough to pull off, and I'm sure he'd love to have another shot at it. Two outs, base is empty. Here's the left fielder, Luis now Medina. Batting, left fielder, Luis Medina. Hey, just you and him. Get him yourself. Rolled over to third. Throw on to Torkelson, inning over. Three up, three down for Milwaukee. They trail by double digits, 11 to 1. So first and second with two outs. And now it's going to be Gerald Raymond. And it may be a long shot, but a triple here will give him the cycle. Let's get it. And yeah, the first oh, offering is right. not close. Get your pitch and drive it. Let's go, big dog. Your spot. The pitch. Right side, hard hit. They take the force out. That ends the frame. Bottom. Well, I don't know what they did in the cage today or on the field for batting practice, but when you win by double digits, something is clicking. That batting coach feels pretty good about himself right now, but more so the players. They can't wait for the next one. Come back out, score, and get another W. 12-1 is the final for Chris Singleton and our entire crew. I'm John Chompy saying so long.